Hello everyone, welcome back to White Knight. We last left off, we were being chased by something, and Karma took care of him. He, he saw what happened. And we read a couple notes. And what else? What else do we do? Um, I can't remember now, let's just get this over. Hey, Morphe. And more morphine. Okay. Note. Note to Dr. Patrick. Dr. Patrick, Clarence is out of control and I administered one dose of <clears throat> Excuse me, one dose of sedative. That's not up to me, but I think it, his condition is getting worse. He started to claim that someone named Philip is trying to get rid of him. If you pardon my curiosity, just who is this Philip? Why is he thinking that he that he tries to kill him? For other patients' welfare, I locked him in to observers observation cells until further assistance. Oh god, is he in there? Fuck. He's in there. Open please. Oh yeah, he's gotta be in there, he's gotta be. I don't know where though. I know he's there. It's electronically locked, maybe I can cut the power. Is it this? No? Hmm. Cut the power, that has to be the power. Maybe I can throw something at it. Maybe one of you? You look sturdy. Glass versus metal. Who will win? <laughs> um, is that what I have to do? Maybe this isn't sturdy enough. Huh. Oh, my frame rate's not really going well. Don't know why. Okay, this bottle looks sturdier. I... yeah! Okay, maybe that chair will do. And if not, then... not quite sure what to do. Ah, oh, I sealed myself. Get out. I... yeah! Oh, that worked. No! I cut off the light. Fuck me. Oh no. Come on, open. Ah, oh, it's so dark in here. How am I supposed to see? <gasps> yes! I found the flashlight. Oh, that is cool. That is fucking cool. <laughs> I shouldn't waste it. I don't. Battery juices. This guy's in here, I know he is. Won't move. Okay, I gotta make escape route. And I gotta hurry, because I do not wanna waste. I don't wanna waste my batteries. What was that guy's name? Clarence, okay. Let's keep an eye out for our buddy Clarence. I know he's in one of these rooms. He's probably in that locked door. Uh, okay. He's probably not going to like that I take this key. So. I can't move. I can't move. Oh shit! I can't see a thing. Where is he? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck. Um... If I wait too much, he will catch me. Oh, 
Fuck! Whoa! Go, 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 go! go. Oh! Fuck! Oh my god! Morphine! I need morphine! <laughs> Fuck! Where do I go? Where do I go? Get away from me! Oh! God damn it! <laughs> you have to remember. Remember, Simba. Fuck, man. God. <sighs> damn, he's fast. Or I'm slow. Oh, back here. I guess he's gone. Because if a monster kills you, they, they disappear. Okay. Don't want to waste my batteries. We got a key. Let's go figure out where this goes to. Well, probably next door. Uh, hospital hall key. Maybe it goes here. No? Hmm. I don't remember where the locked door was. It didn't work. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay. Okay, it looks like we're not going upstairs. Downstairs looks a little hee. <laughs> Maybe we'll check later. El baño. Oh, nothing. I thought something was gonna come right out of the stalls. They're gonna, like, someone's in there, like, hey, it's occupied. What are you doing? Batteries. Cool. Mm. It's a really creative mod of what they did with the lantern and the batteries. Light bulbs. Hey, give me your light bulb. Light bulb. Right. <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong button. Light bulb. Can I place the light? Number one five. Got a feeling I gotta remember that. Mm, I guess there's nothing here. Oh, no, that's not true. We found a couple batteries and a clue for something. Probably for a door code. Oh yeah, we got a screwdriver. Maybe this we could jam this in. Yes. Ooh. It's creepy blue. 
Oh, hello. Get the chainsaw. Yes. We have to waste batteries. anything here. Digit of the password is two. Password is four digit. Okay. Something behind here? No. Closet. No. Why you no open? No. Okay. Well, we found a clue. But then maybe there's a. Where's the door code? Maybe it's on the other side of that hall. much. So WD-40 will fix that squeaky. Uh, morphine. No, it's all empty. God, that monster fucked me up. Oh, it's a long one. Ribbit's Law. Retrograde amnesia is a loss of access to events that occurred or information that was learned before an injury or, or the onset of a disease. Ribbit's Law of Retrograde Amnesia was hypothesized in 1881 by Fjoldu Ribbit. It states that there is a time gradient in retrograde, retrograde amnesia. Recent memories are more likely to be lost than more remote memories. Not all patients suffering from retrograde amnesia report the symptoms of Ribbit's Law. The dissolution of memory is inversely related to the recency of the event. Simply put, as memories age, they become resistant to disruption. A large body of research supports the predictions of Ribbit's Law. The theory concerns the relative strength of memories over time, which is not directly testable. Instead, scientists investigate the process of forgetting amnesia and recollection. Ribbit's Law states that the following a disruptive event patients will show a temporary, temporally graded retrograde amnesia that pre, preferentially spares more distant memories means if one tries to forcefully trigger a retrograde amnesia, preferably in surgical ways, it's nearly impossible to erase all retrospect respective memories without having to cause Korsof Korsakoff syndrome, which completely ruined the goal of this study. However, one cannot say that if a patient is to be subjected to the study epos... Eps I'm not going Episodically? Yeah, maybe that's right. There is no chance that the study will finally achieve success. Nevertheless, even Dr. Parr agrees 
to the difficulty of progress, especially to remove selected parts of the memory without having to cause damage to the temporal lobe. Dr. S has been strongly disagreeing with the idea of switching from theoric, theoric study to act. In fact, without having a real experiment, all theories that the study brings to the light is no more different than the meaningless mutters of the lunatics here. Well, I wonder who this Dr. S is. Sounds mysterious. <gasps> Maybe it's Dr. Sayus. Dr. Sayus, Dr. Sayus. Dr. Sayus, Dr. Sayus. Dr. Sayus, Dr. Sayus. Oh, Dr. Sayus. I love you, Dr. Sayus. <laughs> if you know... If you know what that was, good for you. Well, I didn't find much except a note. And I have some batteries. Okay, let's go to the other side. Aha! Uh -huh. Locked. Ain't nothing but a Phillips head screwdriver key. can't do. Lights. I'm surprised the lights still work in a place like this. No. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Can I move some of these books? Maybe you're hiding something. No, 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 no. No. I don't know why I bother checking drawers. There's rarely anything in there. Batteries? Yes. Oh, you're just too kind. No. Hmm. Observation room. Dr. Patrick. Okay. Ah, oh, someone raided this one. Oh! <laughs> Maybe. That's just... <laughs> oh, I forgot about the light. Cool. Anything back here? Facebook. No internet access. Crap. Um, I probably don't have anything anyways. I never do. True story. Observation room. But I gotta end it here. So next episode we'll find more clues to what all these numbers mean. And explore the observation room. See you next time.